Muscling In episode 19. Welcome, it's been a while. In this episode, I'm going to give you some updates on how my lean bulk is going in terms of strength, muscle growth and body fat. Let's start with training, how my strength is progressing. The reason I haven't released uh, lifting content lately is because my training went to shit around mid-December. Actually no, only my push workout. On December 14th, while I was doing my first set of incline, on rep 4, I got a nagging pain in my left back. Right around there. Now, I thought that it would go away for the next workout, but it didn't. What was most strange about this pain is that it didn't affect my strength. I could lift the same weights if I wanted to in my first set but it got really painful, especially after rep 3. So of course, I was not stupid enough to push through pain. Actually, a golden rule to follow in lifting is this. Never push through pain. Discomfort is good and desirable, but pain is bad. And uh, only by following this simple rule, you can actually prevent major injuries in the future. So anyway, this issue combined with the fact that uh, I haven't trained or slept much during the holidays, meant that my pushing strength took a hit. It went down a little and only now it's coming back to normal. So now for my push workout, I changed a few things. First of all, I started doing flat bench as the main exercise instead of incline. There are two reasons for that. Number one, I wanted to give that muscle some time to heal. And number two, I was constantly disappointed from failing on incline. I needed a different exercise in order to be excited about training again. Which is actually very important. Another thing that I'm going to do for a few weeks is use straight sets for bench instead of RPT. Until my strength and confidence is back up. The second change is that I went back to standing press from seated dumbbell press. This is my favorite exercise. I'm happy to be doing it again. And the, the only reason I switched to dumbbells for a while is because at some point you inevitably hit a plateau on a certain lift. And after you hit that point, you can't fix the plateau by doing the same rep scheme and the same exercise. You just can't. You need to make a change to provide a fresh stimulus. You can either vary the rep range or you can change the exercise. But I would recommend changing the exercise from time to time. Here is another change. Because now I'm doing flat bench as my first exercise instead of incline, I do an incline movement as my second chest exercise. And I actually don't expect much progress from this because uh, I'm doing it in a fatigued state, but it will do its job of maintaining muscle size until I go back to incline bench as the primary movement. Now uh, let's talk about muscle growth. I am bigger than I've ever been. Which is pretty ironic since the last 3 weeks of training have sucked. But I am now around 78 kilograms, which means I gained around 4 kilograms or 9 pounds during the last 4 months in a surplus. And uh, I would say only around 1.5 kilograms or 3 pounds of all that weight is actually muscle. Yeah, it wasn't that good, but I'm pretty happy about it. If you're curious, my current relative strength is this. Now, the reason I'm showing you this is because relative strength is the best way to track physique changes. If someone wanted a physique like mine, if they got to these relative strength standards, they would be there. Which is great to know, only hit those standards and you will have the physique. Another thing that I wanted to mention is that the great thing about starting your gaining phase very lean is that you can get away with a few pounds of fat and not lose your proportions or definition. I'd actually say I'm around 12% body fat now. Yeah, not that great. But this is the first bulk when I actually allowed myself to eat enough and the good rate of progress is owed to that, in my opinion. I'd like to do a quick cut this month to go back to below 10% body fat, around 9 would be ideal, but uh, this Monday I'm going to Switzerland and France for a week with two friends of mine and uh, I'll only do this cut after I come back. I don't know how long it's gonna take me, I suspect 3 weeks, but we will see. <laughs> 